matchup. Arkansas, number 23 in the country, here in Athens to take on the Georgia Bulldogs. And we welcome you, everybody. Happy New Year. And that one's slippery right now for Charles Mann. Comes free to Parker, and he buries a three. Four of these Georgia players. They've been playing together a long time, and it shows right there. Nice feed by Mann to Jurisic. Jurisic did a nice job sealing on the high side, creating that space, and then Mann with a beautiful touch pass over the top. Nice job. Bobby Portis got his man in the air, and then slams it home. In the paints. Nice move. They cut Ponce Leiter. He's an inch taller. He's got a lot more muscle. And there's Kenny Gaines knocking down a three. In the last five games, Kenny Gaines is 26% from beyond the arc. His consistency from the outside would be an added boost to the Georgia Bulldogs offensive approach. Nice move inside. Harris, his first basket. And you gotta make you gotta make baskets to be able to set up your pressure. When you're struggling from the field, it allows George to be comfortable. Now they gotta deal with this pressure and see how they can attack it. Did a good job that time and got it. The jury sits for an easy bucket. Behind the back dribble. And a tough shot inside. And it goes for Anthony. Dramatic for them. Harris, fadeaway jumper. I don't know if he called that one or not, but he'll take it. Watkins on a runner. A nice shot. Andy Watkins. Straight up with the inbounds pass and straight down by DeCorey Williams. That's beautiful execution. Two good ones for you. Coming up this weekend. And a three-pointer by Kenny Paul. Walls around a screen. Not a good pass. Georgia with a steal and Frazier. Got it to go. The little tiny things that he does. Yes, he's quick, but he did a little hesitation. He slowed down to force the defense. They, they reacted to him, and then he throttled it and dropped the hammer one more time to get to the rim and get the angle. Hook shot will go. This match, height-wise, big time. He's going to try to take advantage of it. Portis clears the glass, falls for three. Got it. Well, he dribbled the ball down the floor. He makes zero passes. Whoops, J.J. got a little bit ahead of himself. And now he's wide open for three. Got it! He pulled a little Steph Curry. A little Steph Curry action from last night against Russell Westbrook. He can, and that's what makes him unique. Portis just inside the three-point line. Jurisic thought about a long three. Instead drives in, leaves it for his teammate Thornton, who hammers it home. Jurisic. Gaines a step back, outside jumper, and he knocked it down. They get the rebound. Portis is going to try another one, and got another one. It's three. Now he has such a smooth release. So they'd love to cut this thing to about four at the break. They'd be happy, I would think, and they've got an opportunity to cut it away completely. They're up by 13. Jurisic will try a long three, and got it. That's one of those shots for the two setbacks from that guy. We got to go back to him. They'll have to go back to him in the second half, too. They trail by seven at the break. Time for the Mazda halftime report. Adnan and Jay and Seth standing by, fellas. With Thornton on him, he's going to drive and take the left hand shot. Pretty. Now 32 of their points. James, cross court pass, Jerry Six, triple. Got it. Madden the kick out, Durham the three, and got it. Very similar to Georgia's wide open three. And now the pressure doesn't get to Georgia this time. It does. To close this gap, it's only six points right now. Nice finger roll inside by Kingsley. Here offensively, their last few trips. Man's going to try a three and nail it. Big three. He's going to force on both ends. And a good follow there by Watkins. Georgia with 10 turnovers in the ball game now. Harris looked like a crazy shot and went in. His first basket of the second. Jurisic. Bell. Wow. Knocked down just inside the three point line. Portis has the freshman on him right now. There's a flyby and a three pointer that goes.
Nice patience by Antoine. For the tie. And we are tied for the first time. For the lead. And it goes. First lead of the game. Here he is again against man. This time he loses the handle and turns it over. Frazier brings it down with Maiden. Maiden got the basket and the foul. Arkansas, but that is anything but the case now. Here's Harris. Same fade away, same spot. And he drills it again. Sometimes there's a, there's a spot, particular spot on the floor where players just feel it. I Harris think he's just identified right there, hasn't he? That same spot. And Georgia turns it over. He's into the good seats, and they're a man shy right now. Harris has got to whip one up there, and he buried a three. Harris has been the key for the Razorbacks, and now they're up by four. That's their biggest. Matt Qualls trying to get in the act, and he does. That was absolutely beautiful. It squares up. One hand on the baseline, blocked by Maiton. Frazier on the run. Up and in. How does your team respond out of a timeout? Harris. Porter's double team gets it out. Watkins on a runner, and he got it to go. Manny Watkins. Remember what Coach Fox told Shannon at half? We don't want to have to bring the double team on Bobby Portis. They brought it there and they got burned. Now Mann trying to break the pressure, and he throws it away. Tried to get it to Jurisic. Portis turns and buries it. Leading to score the basketball. Right now wants to burn clock more than score. Yeah, they lost it, though. Portis lost the handle. Here's Frazier on the run ahead. The lay-in is good by Charles Mann. Down to four again. Baseline jumper, Jurisic trying to tip it in. Didn't get either tip in. And now a run out by Qualls, and he's going to throw this one down. Yeah, that might be the exclamation point right there to this one. Players, multiple opportunities for Georgia to finish around the rim, unable to do it. No doubt, this man, he finishes around the rim just fine. Oh, he can throw it down. Sure can. You know, five more at least to watch there. What you've watched here was a good ball game. Georgia gave up a big lead, and Arkansas won it. Final score, Arkansas 79, Georgia 75. For Sean and Shannon.